everyone, welcome to With Heart. Today we're talking about reupholstery, but more specifically, what fabric to use on which kind of piece. That's one of the trickiest things to figure out because you want it to be something if you're going to invest the money in that will last a while, but you also want to be current and up to date with interior design. So joining me today is Brian Maxfield with Rocky Mountain Upholstery, and we're gonna be talking about a few different types of fabric. First, where do you get fabric? Where are the best places to find a good quality fabric? Just depends. I mean, I sell fabric here, so obviously I encourage my customers to, you know, buy through me. Um, but there are suppliers um, in town, Silver State Supply, Calistro, Calistro Corner, or whatever it is. Calico Corner. Calico, <laughs> Calico <Close>. Corners. <laughs> the best thing to always remember is you get what you pay for. So if you if you go and you buy, a, you know, a really cheap, inexpensive fabric, that's what you're getting. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel, feel the difference. Yeah, you'll feel it. A lot of people will buy online. And I really encourage people to at least get a sample mm -hmm. before they buy the whole bolt or whatever they need to make sure you feel it and you can feel the quality in fabric. You've got some velvet right here. What type of piece do you think this would work really well for? Really velvet, we put velvet on a lot of different pieces right now. Um, it's a very popular fabric to go with. Um, a lot of people are using it kind of as a uh, microfiber. Uh, a lot of people talk about microfiber. Well, vel velvet's a little bit better than microfi microfiber. So, a little bit classier, right? Yeah, a little bit classier. Wears a little nicer. So how much can you expect to pay for a good quality velvet? A good quality velvet should be right around $40 a yard. Um, some people are telling me they're finding it on the internet for like $15 a yard. It's a little sketchy. What are you looking for when you're when you're telling if it when so you you're want looking to, to see if it's quality? You want to you know you want to make sure the nap is nice and it doesn't you know it doesn't uh, rub out little balls, fabric balls when you're going up and down. Okay. That's the biggest thing is if you know you're rubbing it and the the nap starts balling up, it's not going to be very good velvet. It's not very quality. Yeah. Okay, so moving on now, we figured out velvet. What's the next one we're going to be talking about? I uh, talk about uh, these geometrics. Very popular right now. Super popular. Very very popular. This is definitely a fabric that I would use in my home. <laughs> this color is really pretty. Yeah, grays are very popular as well. But uh, this is this is blowing up right now. And how much can you expect to pay? This really isn't. Uh, it's pretty fair priced. I would say right around thirty dollars a yard, thirty oh. to forty dollars a yard. Okay, and then the next one? Uh, this would be like a cotton print. This is often, I think, what people think of when they think of upholstery fabric is something like this, this right. kind of weave and, yeah. and texture and yeah. that kind of thing. And it is, it, it's really good quality. It's, um, this has to be on a, a very unique piece, obviously, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But It's very specific. Right, it wouldn't specific. work in every single space. Right, right, specific piece. Okay, and next we're gonna be talking about something that you use a lot yeah. of, right? every day. This actually <laughs> is for me. This is on a piece of my furniture. You may have seen it on the day bed that's in my master bedroom. So this is just a gray linen, right? Right, gray linen. And what types of pieces work really well with linen? We are doing everything linen. Everything, headboards, uh, sofas, chairs, linen. Everybody loves linen. I mean, it's really it's, versatile right, too. Right, it's versatile for a room. And uh, so it works basically anywhere you, you can put it. And linen, how does it compare price-wise? Linen is all over the board. I sell linen. I got a really good quality linen here that goes for about $39 a yard. And then, um, you know, you can you can get it online for eight bucks a yard. Mm -hmm. So it's all over the board. But again, you just have to be careful. Uh, linen, if you, if you get a piece of linen, you know, you can stretch it. And if you can see through it and it's really starting to tear apart, it's not gonna be very good. It's not good gonna last. Yeah, right. So you just wanna be careful with that. And any final thoughts for people before they head to the fabric store or invest in fabric? Just make sure you get something you like. Um, this is, you know, some, one of those lifetime jobs that you're doing and you wanna make sure you like it and it's gonna be quality and hold up so that the piece will last for a while. Thank you so much to Brian Maxfield from Rocky Mountain Upholstery and thank you to you for watching. See you next time.